All right, we're going to do a tutorial on how to do bubble charts uh, in Google Sheets, uh, particularly focusing on your classes from last semester. What I have here is the classes for my fictitious major, uh, Hawaiian Experience, and then four data points, four columns of data points right here, here, and here. And so to get started, we're going to go to Insert, uh, Chart, and then we're going right here over, we just saw a chart editor pop up. We're going to click on this and we're going to go down to the scatter and we're going to click on the bubble. But we can see that it's not reading the data points that I want. So I'm going to click on the data range here and I'm going to start with my classes and I'm going to hit add another range. I'm going to put in level of interest. This is my level of interest in that class what I actually learned in that class, requirements for uh, my Hawaiian experience major, and then finally, and most importantly, just how difficult those classes were. So I'm going to hit OK. And when I hit OK, it plots it out, giving me the Y and X axis, and then also putting in the legend that we can see here on what classes are for my minor, uh, what classes are electives, and what classes are for my major. Uh, now, we just need to add a few things to our bubble chart. We're going to click on Customize, and we're going to go to Chart and Access Titles. And we're going to start out here by titling our chart. Let's call it competitive. Competitive, I know how to spell that. Competitive analysis of my classes. And then you'll see right here of where it pops up. Now we're going to do the subtitle. And right here we have the legend. So let's make our subtitle requirement requirements for graduation. And then here our horizontal access axis. And that's gonna be my level level of interest. And then finally the vertical axis and that is what my whoops what i actually learned from the course okay now what we can see here is we have a visual representation of all the classes that i took last semester and what's helpful is, first of all, when we hover over, it's going to give us all the data points that we see over in these four columns. So tennis, we had a 4.9 out of 5 interest, and we had uh, a 99% of what I actually learned. So showing that I did, I gained a lot from my tennis class. However, we can see by the red that it's elective. And then how difficult it was, we have it at an 8. And if we look here just visually, we know the yellow here, and the, you can't even see the dance. This is all part of my uh, Hawaiian experience uh, major. And then the electives, and then we're seeing that with the minor, I'm doing a fair amount of work with it, but we also can see I'm much more engaged with my minor and my electives versus my major. And so we can really quickly just see how valuable doing a competitive analysis with a bubble chart, uh, just because it allows us to take in a lot of data quickly and visually and to pull out uh, meaning around what uh, what classes I took last semester. Now we're not just yet finished. Uh, we'll want to title our Google Sheet and let's call it 
uh, competitive analysis of my classes. And over here, we're going to want to make sure that anyone can view this link. So anyone can view. If you have it on this and you submit the link, so you're going to copy the link, and you submit this in Canvas, if we have it, let's do that. If you have it like that and copy the link, we're not going to be able to see it, and you're not going to be able to get a grade. So make sure anyone can, uh, anyone with the link can view. We don't need to edit your classes, so I just copied that right there, and I hit Done, and I take that link, and I put it into Canvas, and you're done with the assignment. All right. Good luck, and I look forward to seeing your competitive analysis on last semester's classes.